Hey everyone, welcome back to Who's Your Ama podcast, the podcast for women of color, millennial moms just like me. Today we have with us Dr. Lana Duplessis from CryoSave and we are going to be talking all things cord banking, stem cells and umbilical cords. So Dr. Lana, you can introduce yourself for us and then we can take it from there. Um, I'm Dr. Lana Duplessis. Uh, I joined CryoSave in the middle 2018, been with them since then. Okay. And that's, that's a long time. It's <laughs> a long time, yes. So what does CryoSave do? Who is CryoSave for people who don't know? Okay, so CryoSave is a uh, cord blood and tissue stem cell bank. Okay. Uh, so what they basically do is uh, store the cord blood and the cord tissue uh, that is collected from the umbilical cord when the baby okay. is born, just after the baby is born. Okay. And they store it for a period of 20 years. Mm-hmm. Um uh, and the value, well, if you want to know the value of the stem cells, uh, these are the, this is the only time that you can actually store these stem cells. Okay. Um, because when you don't store them, you know, the medical cord and the uh, placenta and everything is discarded as medical waste. Okay. And these stem cells are very uh, naive at that stage. Uh, and it's the only time, as I said, that you can really store them. Okay. When uh, you grow older, you know, the stem cells in your body grow old with you mm-hmm. and they ha- don't have that uh, differential poten- you know, differentiating potential as okay. you would have as a baby. Your stem cells have not been uh, harmed by the environment okay. or anything. Yes. What's the difference between storing the stem cells? Is, is stem cells and stem tissue the same thing? So the stem cells uh, from the cord blood, okay. you, you harvest from the cord blood, okay. uh, and they've got a, uh, they, they're called blood-forming stem cells. So they give rise to, uh, you know, all the... All the <laughs> There's a lot of information, sure. sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to get to not too technical. Okay, everything. it's fine. Let me focus more. Yeah, so those stem cells are what makes up your blood, uh, you know, the, the, the cells in your blood. Okay. And that's where they differ from the others that are found in the core tissue. So the core tissue, the, you know, the, the, the cells that make the core tissue um, membranes okay. and the, those, those are what we call the core tissue stem cells. And they are a bit different from the, uh, the, the blood forming stem cells that you find in the blood. Okay. And they have uh, you know, different potential than the blood because they can give rise to other cells in the body like skin or, uh, or the liver cells or other cells because they've got that potential where the blood for me stem cells can only form cells that are found in blood. Okay. So you would use the blood cells for different things different than things. the tissue. Yeah, yeah. What are some of the examples of things that you'd use those so, cells so for? So the blood for me stem cells, you can use for leukemias, lymphomas, uh, some of your uh, metabolic diseases. So anything with the immune system mm-hmm. and with your, you know, your cancers, your mm-hmm. leukemias, where the blood is involved. Okay. Whereas the other stem cells from the from the tissue, which we call mesenchymal stem cells, mm-hmm. I know it gets a bit technical. <laughs> Those you can use to for all the other things. They're looking at things now like diabetes, okay, um, uh, multiple sclerosis, um, spinal cord injury, but a lot of those um, diseases that they are looking at now are still in clinical trials. Okay. So it takes a while for it to be approved, but they they really really valuable those stem cells. Okay, Word in Time is a brand new Christian board game. Get to know the Word of God in half a minute with your friends, family, or small group. Each team gets the opportunity to roll the die and explain what's on their card for a chance to move further on the board. There are 200 Old and 200 New Testament cards to test your knowledge of the Bible in a fun and interactive way. Visit www.wordintime.co.za to get yours. So before we get into how that process works of helping someone once their stem cells have been stored. Can you explain a little bit about CryoSave and what the company does and how everything works? Okay, so when you decide to sign up as a mother or a parent, you would get um, a kit. Mm -hmm. So that kit would contain your, you know, the the bag, the cord blood bag that would, where the blood would be collected from. from You don't do it yourself, right? No, no, I don't do it yourself. Okay, okay. So it's done very safely. So once the baby's born, 
the doctor, your gynecologist, will, you know, the do- baby will be delivered, mother safe, baby safe. Okay. And that it's once the umbilical cord is cut, then they will use that umbilical cord to draw the blood okay. from the umbilical cord. So baby safe, mommy safe. Uh, so they draw the blood from the umbilical cord in, in a sterile way into a cord blood bag. Okay. And then they will take a piece of the cord tissue and they'll cut that, a 20 centimeter piece, and they'll put that also in a little sterile container. It goes back into the kit and then... Uh, it goes with you to your room. When, once you're back in the room, your daddy would call, you know, our, our, our uh, logistics department, mm-hmm. and then our, our specialized courier will come collect it, bring it to the lab, and it will be processed immediately. Okay. So it doesn't, the doctors do it at the hospital, the, and then someone comes to the hospital yes. to fetch it. Yeah. Doctor does it okay. when you, you're giving birth, after you've given birth, it gets done, you safe, baby safe, and it takes 10 minutes to collect. Okay. It's not harmful at all. It's not painful for mother at all. Okay. Or for the baby at all. So it gets, and then it, you know, when, when you phoned in, our career comes to collect this, the, the kit from you, and they immediately t- bring it to the lab where we process the cord blood and the cord tissue separately. And then the cells are frozen away for, you know, long term storage for 20 years. Okay. So, can you explain a bit how that storage facility works out? Because where is where is it based? So we are based in Linwood Road, okay, in Pretoria, okay, um, um, in a, a office park there. But we've been there since 2011. Mm-hmm. So we've got these cry, big cry storage tanks. What that say? You know where the mm-hmm. the, the tubes of the core tissue and the little blood bag is saved in this in the uh, in the vapor phase of liquid nitrogen. Okay, uh, and it's there for 20 years and we maintain the facility uh, and the stem cells are securely and safely Does stored load shedding away. affect the storage? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the big questions we get. Yeah. Um, no, it doesn't at all because we've got a 24-hour uh, generator that kicks in and it's it, it kicks in immediately. Okay. And our facility is also fed by gravity. So the liquid nitrogen facility is fed by gravity. So you don't have any load shedding that affects the, the filling okay. of that. So we can actually fill it manually even. Okay. Although it has a, you know, it's, it's on an electrical system, we can do it manually if there's a real problem with, with load shedding. But we've never, we hardly, you know, yeah. are, we're never affected with load shedding okay. anyway. So when it when the electric goes off, it kicks in immediately. Okay. I always ask the most extreme questions when it comes to important things like mm-hmm. this. So no, what happens, good. for example, if the facility burns down or someone breaks in? What happens to those tissues? And what ha- what do I ha- what guarantee do I have as a customer? Okay. So you can be totally. Uh, Assured that we've got uh, we've got a, a facility that you can only get into with a with a, you know a card, okay. a, a security system, security cards. So only people that have a card that's issued a card by the company mm-hmm. can get in. And then also when uh, the, the the storage facility is in a basement, and okay. we've got a uh, you know a electrical suppression system, a fire suppression Sounds system. Sounds very high tech. Yes, a fire suppression 007. system. And then you must also remember liquid nitrogen is a, it, it takes oxygen out of the air. Okay. So it's immediately, if, if any, and this, the tanks are stainless steel. So okay. it's extremely safe. Yeah. Okay. Good to know. For, for fire hazard or anything. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Good to know. Yes. Okay. So let's say now someone has leukemia mm. and they would need the blood. Correct. Mm-hmm. So, how would that process work of getting the tissues? What? How does that work? So, we are AIBB accredited. What and does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying it's, yes, it's but what does that mean? <laughs> it's, it's a it's an accreditation system from uh, America. Okay. Where you have to comply with uh, the cellular therapy standards of you know international standards. Okay. So they come every second year to audit us, and we have to comply with everything, all the environmental monitoring in the laboratory, uh, all the you know all the. Uh, Testing mm-hmm. of the maternal bloods are also done. So all of those things are, you know, monitored by them and we have to comply okay. to their strict standards, yes. And okay. we've had three um, uh, um, assessments and we've passed with flying colors. That's good to know. <laughs> so say now, for example, yes. someone gets a leukemia. You want to know. Yeah, yes. how do they about, get that? About release. So release is all is also regulated very strictly. So if the if the 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 is, there will have to be a matching done, mm-hmm. even if it's the same same child sample, 
you still have to test for HLA matching and you have to test for the viability of the cells and the number of stem cells that are in, that's in that sample. And so, when everything, sorry, mm -hmm. is there a possibility that even if you stored my cells for 15 years, there's a possibility that it won't be viable? No, it's it's we can only store viable cells, okay, and enough cells. So if you, the the other thing with the the called blood um, stem cells, they are you, because if you do a transplant, you have to have enough stem cells okay. to use for the person. So with this called blood stem cells, because they are from a little baby. Mm -hmm. uh, they can only be used for a certain um, a kilogram of a person. So that's one of the drawbacks, I okay. could say, of cord blood banking. But the new thing that they also do now, if there's too little of that stem cell, they will find another sample and then co-match those that sample and use it for, a, 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 say, an adult where they wouldn't be able to use it for adult with one just one uh, story. So someone some. else's. Yes, yes. And what another advantage that's also happened with new technology, that you can expand the stem cells. So that stem cells, those stem cells that you stored from your, say for yourself now, mm -hmm. and you get leukemia or, mm -hmm. or lymphoma or uh, other disease that it can be used to, to treat, they will expand those stem cells and it can be used for you know, for the transplant thing. So they make it more. That's what I'm going to say. So okay. in culture, they could Does that mean they can also clone people? No, that's a... <laughs> <laughs> that's very highly regu regulated and it will not happen in, in our lifetime, I oh, think. Wow. And that's a big question a lot of people ask yeah. because it's a, you know, yeah. I think the movies and everybody <laughs> promotes that, but it doesn't really... It doesn't happen okay. at all, no. So just to simplify it, this so I understand... It, when you harvest the stem cells and tissue from a newborn baby, mm. whatever is harvested can only be used again up to a certain amount of kgs of a person. Yes, but now you, it's so. I say that it can be used up to a certain kg of a person if you don't expand, if you don't multiply it. So the cord blood itself, okay, the cord tissue, it's. Or tissue that is stored has to be multiplied anyway because they you have a few cells there and then you can multiply that to use. And so, multiplying is that the one where you use someone else's or is no, no, that no, 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 okay? No. You multiply that same person's stem cells and scientifically, it can be used. yes, okay, it's in culture, so you okay. can. Okay. It gets more technical than that, but I don't Ooh. think we've got enough time yeah. to explain. I'm still but, trying but, to wrap but, my head around but that this. But is, that is one of the wonderful things that's going on. Now. They've got all these different um, diseases that they're testing these stem okay. cells for. And it will take, you know, five to ten years for it to be approved because they have to go through uh, different phases of, you know, approval by the FDA or mm -hmm. EMIRA uh, in Europe and so uh, but as I said, it's diseases like diabetes that they're looking at, mm -hmm. multiple sclerosis, and so on. Yeah. Okay. So let's use diabetes as an example. How would this be used to treat a person? Would it be used as treatment or as a cure or as management? So it's it's it will be used as a treatment. Uh, diabetes is a difficult disease, as you mm -hmm. know. It, there's already uh, technologies that they've tested with stem cells that okay. they've uh, had you know, better outcomes and people use less insulin or even stopped insulin, but it's for a period and then it has to be, re you know, they have to have another treatment. Mm -hmm. It's not a total cure. Okay. But things like MS as well, they've also done treatments with the meat and scramble stem cells okay. that they've used to, um, you know, to treat to better the person's, you know, life um, lifestyle and uh, okay. abilities. Would you say in South Africa that more people are, doing stem cell um, banking or do you think that because we are somewhat of a conservative country that it's not really that popular? I, I think it's a lot of people are not aware what mm -hmm. stem cells are and what they can do. And I think also our medical, you know, fraternity is not that open-minded, mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say, as it would be in Europe or other countries. In other countries, definitely. Okay. But I think it's a it's a fast advancing field, and I'm sure it will it will pick up soon. Okay. Um, what happens if we store our baby stem cells, 
um, here in Pretoria and then we decide to move to another country, but then we need it in another country. How would that work to get it there? Okay, so in our contract for Grasse, we say to you that if you need it, it we will transport it to uh, the transplant facility where it will be needed. So it's part okay. of our contract that we actually offer people. Included in the cost? or in in, It's included in the cost, okay. yes. Do you yes. mind sharing a bit of the costs involved for the whole process? Okay, so we and have... And also, sorry to cut no. you off, mm-hmm. does medical aid cover for it or is no, it not? No, medical aid does okay. not cover at all, unfortunately. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we were working on that. Okay, I we feel like to. I've learned in yeah. this whole pregnancy journey yeah. that medical aid doesn't cover for much. You have to pay mm. a lot up front and claim it back. And when you do claim it back, it's sometimes not the full amount. So I've learned that. In- yeah. <laughs> Interesting, <laughs> I must say. Okay, so what uh, we, we have tried for the collection procedure mm-hmm. to be covered by medical aid. Okay. We've applied for it, but it wasn't approved. Because okay. uh, a lot of clients ask for that. Mm-hmm. Then, uh, so what happens, We when you sign up, there's a deposit. Well, we call it collection kit kit fee mm-hmm. so you pay for collection kit and then you pay for the processing and then you pay for a storage fee so the storage fee what we do there is we have it as a, a yearly fee to keep it as a I would say a, not an annuity but a just assurance for you mm-hmm. that you know your cells are you know kept safe and for that period that you are storing 20 year period okay. and then after the 20 pe- year 20-year period has sort of lapsed, you can continue to store another 20-year okay. contract because they believe that these stem cells can be stored for a long time. Okay. Yes, all the evidence that we've got up to now. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah, uh, yeah. cost involved. And then we've had, we also have uh, discounts when people belong to a medical aid. <laughs> So okay. you can have discount then. Uh, and then the uh, we have sometimes uh, special offers and so okay. on as well. More or so, less, can you share how much it costs? Okay, so we, we have a – and we also try and tailor – Make for for clients' needs. Okay. So even with a with a we with a deposit of the kit is four thousand rand, mm-hmm. and then it's twenty one thousand rand for the entire processing fee. Okay, is that so? It's twenty five altogether if you take with that. storage. But, or not? Yes, but it's not, you don't have to pay up front. We've got a we've got a payment plan that uh, we've got twelve months up to sixty months payment balance that you can sign up for. So it's. Like more or less twenty five thousand for the entire twenty years. Uh, it, no, it's twenty five thousand, and the storage is additional to okay. that. Okay. Okay. So this, but the storage is a, it's a five hundred rand. Okay. Roughly a year. And there's but payment can, plans for the twenty five thousand. But we also do a forty nine rand if you don't want to pay the five hundred rand as a because you only pay the next year for the five hundred rand. Okay. If you don't want to pay that, you can pay it uh, monthly at a. 40, 40, 49 rand, 50 okay. rand a month That's uh, good fee, to know. which is quite nice, yes. Okay. yes. So and we try to, you know, accommodate most of our clients because okay. a lot of the clients are, are you know, new new parents, young sure, parents. and everything is expensive. Everything <laughs> is expensive. <laughs> Having a baby is expensive. Yes, yes. definitely know that. So um, I've had gym contracts before where you can't cancel it before the term has ended. What happens if you need the stem cells within five years instead of 20 years? How does that work? Are you allowed to just stop the storage or do you still have to pay? So if you, if you need the stem cells before that period, uh, you, you will basically, it'll basically, if it's now approved therapy, it'll be released. uh, And then of course the storage stops. Mm -hmm. That also says, means if you, uh, if you use both, but you probably won't use both because remember you've got your cord blood and you've got your cord tissue. So you'll just continue with the cord tissue storage fee and not with the blood. Okay. But remember I mentioned to you the expansion. So if you expand, you can still keep some of that cord, um, blood. Blood. Okay. So that you don't use it all at once, which is the benefit of all these new technologies. So you can expand cord blood. Scientifically. And, and core tissue, yes. So which is the one where you borrow from someone else's borrow? So so it depends <laughs> on depends on it's a cord blood that you okay. will you will use from if you have a, a a match. A match, yes. Okay. So maybe like siblings. You can have yeah. So so the, the value of the cord blood is also that's why we call it this family stem cell bank. Okay. You can use because you as parents would have a would have the chance of being a fifty percent match for that uh, cord blood. So if you might need it in future, you will be a 50, might be a mm-hmm. 50% chance of a match for your child. Okay. Whereas siblings on the other hand might be a 20, uh, will have a 25% chance of a match. Okay. And, uh, 
if you get other family members, they have a lesser chance, mm-hmm. but it's better than a donor from a you know a stranger. A, a stranger, that's great. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How would it work if, for example, we only have one child and I'm a match for the child? How would they get those stem cells out of me? Well, you as a parent will only look. So, so these stem cells uh, that you store from the baby. As I mentioned, they're more naive than Mm -hmm. the the adult stem cells that you have in your body, for instance. So if your baby needs your stem cells, they'll use either bone marrow. They'll use bone marrow. That sounds painful. That is. That's the other other, uh, plus of these little baby stem cells. Uh, because they they not it's not a painful procedure for, yeah. for the baby at all. Okay. So it's it's taken off. off there aren't the, any nerves in the umbilical cord. No, right? no, no. So but remember, the babies, but babies, the cord is severed. Oh already, yes, it's when it's and cut. The baby's already okay. taken away. The okay. baby's safe and you safe and yeah, okay. you don't feel anything. Baby doesn't feel okay. anything. So yeah, so that's wow. when they take the the cord blood from you and the cord tissue. Okay, so, as I say, it's not painful at all. Okay, yeah. so that's the the other, other the plus uh, in comparison with bone marrow and peripheral blood, where they have to draw blood from your bone marrow and mm-hmm. get um, you know the blood from yourself from a vein in your arm for the stem cells, and then okay. for the peripheral blood when they do the uh, you know stem cell harvesting there, they've got to give you a, a hormone two weeks before the time, which mobilizes the, the stem cells that they can then draw it from you. Interesting. So it's painful. So the other, it, everything other, sounds painful. Other, <laughs> all the other procedures to get stem cells from people are painful, whereas this is not painful at all. Okay, good to know. Mm-hmm. And let's say after the 20 years we haven't used it and we decide not to proceed, how are the stem cells and the blood, how is it discarded? Okay, so we have a, a process. So it's all part of our AABB accreditation. And can I see that it is being discarded? Yes, and so, there's so no what we do is we send people <laughs> cloned. <laughs> no, so that's the one that people, that's the, the horror side. You know, people, that doesn't happen at all. I think a lot of people have asked that. So we send you an informed consent to okay. the parents and there's, um, you must uh, select that you want to discard the cord blood and the cord tissue and both of you must sign. And we take that form, and we then take this, you know, take the samples mm-hmm. from storage, and it gets uh, incinerated. It gets um, okay. yeah. incinerated by a biohazard company, and they send us a manifest of that it's done, okay. and we send that back to you. Okay. Yeah. Kind of all, a morbid you know, the, question: mm-hmm, mm-hmm. If the parents pass away, is this something that you put in a will or? Where do you? Yes, a lot of people do that. Yeah, so, <laughs> I don't so know you, the words, but so, where do you? Yeah, yeah. So you have to put in your will that okay. that that it will. So if they pass away and the child, you know, then you must let your child know that you've stored these stem cells okay. and they can continue with it. Okay. And that's what happens a lot. Well, we we since we've only started in 2011, mm-hmm. a lot of the kids are only now, you know coming of age so they okay. their parents will now start transferring and asking okay well you do you want to carry on with a storage contract okay or do you want to take it over do you want to discard it because can it's, my it's, children um, store their tissue and blood for their children potentially if their children need yes. a match yeah okay yeah do you so mind sharing the, some sorry. of the pros and cons even if it's like two or three for oh, this, either going with it or not going with it yeah so that's that's why i said so Firstly, it's 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 not painful. Mm-hmm. It's quick and it's 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 not a risk to mother or baby at all. Okay, these stem cells. At, this is the only time that you can store these stem cells because they're basically the blueprint of your baby mm-hmm. when they're born. And because they and they can't be cloned. They can't. Be, <laughs> they they can, but they will never be. I promise you, because we because we are regulated so strictly, we cannot release those stem cells. We cannot. We won't do anything with those stem cells without. Out your I think I watch too without, much TV yes. with villains. <laughs> without your informed consent, we cannot. We do not touch those stems because okay. you, you, that's part of the the storage as well. You don't want to. You don't move those stems on. You just okay. maintain it with liquid nitrogen that you fill, and then um, okay, it's there for for the period that you store. And if you want to continue, it's it's carries on. So okay, so where was I? The, the the other plus point, as I said, is it's those stem cells are naive. Mm-hmm. It's just from your your newborn, it's stem cells that have been had formed his little body or her little body and they haven't been altered by the environment at all. Okay. That's another plus. Whereas with adult stem cells in your body now you've you know you you they older <laughs> yeah. yes and they've been you know um uh, 
mutated yeah. or uh, impacted I'm by sure the your environment. Diet also affects exactly, it. Okay. exactly. And then the other thing is these stem cells because they're so they're young, they they have a better potential f- to regenerate into other stem cells or to heal uh, than the adult stem cells as well. Okay. And then the, the the cons are, as I mentioned to you, the the fact that you need a, a certain um, a sp- only the blood stem cells, really, that you need a certain amount for a certain kilogram of person. But that has been overcome by different, like, as I said, with the, with the expansion technology, where they are made more to be able to be used for an adult. Okay. So if I was a potential customer and I said that I wanted more information, what would be your sales pitch to anyone who's watching or listening that wants to do this, but they're still unsure what would you tell them to make them do it and just go ahead? I would say to them that this is really the only time that you can store these stem cells. Mm -hmm. If you don't store them, they are going to be discarded as medical waste. Mm -hmm. And there is really no other time that you can get them. And with the technology happening now, you will see, and I've even seen in the literature, there's so much... uh, innovation where a lot of these other diseases than blood forming diseases are being investigated uh, and they they all using they all looking at using the mesenchymal stem cells from umbilical cord okay and it is really really a valuable product okay good to know Don't thank know you that so answers much enough <laughs> i think okay. i think that we've given people yeah. a lot to think about and discuss yes. and obviously Please don't take this as your full research. Please do your own research also. Definitely. Um, and but if yeah. you have any questions, please, you can let us know. Yes. I can give you my email address. I will uh, link everything perfect. in this that podcast. Yeah. Thank and you so we, much. We're too happy to, to help you. You can always come for a laboratory tour. Any of oh, your, wow. Yeah, any of people that watch your podcast. That's, that's can, cool. Yeah. They can come so and, tour and the can labs look, of where Tour the lab where we are in, in, in Linwood Road. And we okay. will, uh, you know show them the kit, show them how the process works, and they can come look at the facility any day. Okay. Is there only one facility in South Africa? Uh, There's two facilities. Well, our facility is only one. We've got another. There's another company. Okay. We won't talk about them. Yeah. It's fine. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you so much. Is there anything else that you'd like to share about CryoSave? I think think we've covered everything. Yeah. I think that answered most of your questions. I think it did. I don't have any other questions. I have a lot to process now (laughs) and think about. But thank you so much for joining us. It's only a pleasure. I will link everything in the description if you are listening on Spotify or Apple. Everything is linked also in YouTube. So thank you guys for watching and thank you so much, Dr. Lana. Thank Thank you for having me.